If you're in the market for a new wireless gaming router, well, you've come to the right video. These are my top five gaming routers in 2024 and going in the 2025. And to be clear, we are not sponsored by any of these router companies. We chose these five awesome gaming routers according to features, specifications, performance, size, style, and of course, price. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit subscribe. It's completely free. Thanks. All right, guys and gals, gaming router number one is the TP-Link Archer AX11000. This is a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 gaming router, and this router includes one 2.5 gig WAN port and a whopping eight 1 gig LAN ports. That's right, eight ports. And this router even includes two USB ports, a USB Type-A 3.0 and a USB Type-C 3.0. Besides being one of the coolest looking routers on this list, it's very easy to install. And this router includes a bunch of gamer-friendly settings. The AX11000 earned high marks on our throughput tests, and this router performed exceptionally well on the 5 GHz band. At 15 feet, we achieved 830 megabits per second download speeds. And at 30 feet, we achieved 328 megabits per second. However, at 50 feet, we saw speeds around 100 megabits per second. The AX11000 signal strength was pretty impressive with the 2.4 GHz band. We saw a strong signal until about 75 feet. However, the 5 GHz band lost its signal about 50 feet away. At $342, the AX11000 is not a budget router. However, it's very fast and it's loaded with a bunch of gaming features. It has high throughput and a pretty great range, and you get 8 ports, link aggregation, USB Type-C connectivity, and a 2.5 gig WAN port for those who are lucky enough to have a multi-gig switch or modem. And that's why the AX11000 earns our number one spot in this list. The AX11000 product link will be in the description below. All right, guys and gals, gaming router number two is the Asus ROG Rapture GT6 AX10000. This is a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 gaming mesh system. This Asus router is a two-pack mesh system that can cover over 5,000 square feet. And this router also includes open NAT, which is fantastic for PlayStation and Xbox players. Open NAT, or NAT Type 1, allows a device to connect directly to the internet without restrictions from a router or firewall. And NAT Type 1 is considered to be the best performing and least restrictive, and it's ideal for online gaming. The Rapture GT6 provides fantastic coverage while reducing the dreaded dead zones. And this router has less interference and lower latency. And that's because each device has eight antennas. And typical for most Asus routers, it has fantastic network security and parental controls. But how fast is the GT6? In our five room setup, we tested download speeds and upload speeds. And the average for download speeds at all distances was around 800 megabits per second. And because the GT6 supports the recently opened Unifor Spectra at 5.9 gigahertz, this allows the system to do a better job of maintaining fast speeds, even in large high traffic environments. And that's the exact performance that we saw in our tests. And this router has a 2.5 gig WAM port, which means it can support a high speed broadband connection. The design of this router is a bit different and you'll either love it or hate it. And I have to admit, I kind of love it. The current price for the GT6 is $429. And once again, this is not a budget friendly router, but with all these specs and the fantastic gaming features and the triple level gaming acceleration and NAT type one, this router is fantastic for all gamers. PlayStation, Xbox, or PC. The Asus ROG GT6 product link will be in the description below. Okay guys and gals, gaming router number three is the TP-Link GX90. This is a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 gaming router that includes multi-gig connections, both WAN and LAN. And it also includes three one gig LAN ports and two USB ports. The GX90 offers a slick user interface that lets you optimize your connections, check real-time latency, and protect your network from malicious attacks. The GX90 can achieve maximum data rates of up to 574 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band and up to 1,201 megabits per second on one of the 5 gigahertz bands and up to 4,804 megabits per second on the second 5 gigahertz band for a grand total of 6,600 megabits per second. And the second 5 gigahertz band is designed for use as a dedicated channel to support critical gaming traffic. We tested the GX90's 5 gigahertz band and it delivered 840 megabits per second 
between 15 and 25 feet. At 30 feet, we got 310 megabits per second, and at 50 feet, we got less than 100 megabits per second. The GX90 did a pretty good job delivering strong signal strength with the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz bands, and we got coverage throughout our entire home. But as typical with all routers, the further away you get, the weaker the signal. If you're looking to bring your online gaming to the next level, the TP-Link GX90 AX6600 will take your gaming to the next level. With multi-gig LAN and WAN ports and solid throughput in a wide coverage area, this gaming router is pretty amazing. And this router is currently priced at $199, and that's not a bad price at under $200. The GX90 product link will be in the description below. All right, gaming router number four is the Asus GT BE98 Pro. This is the most expensive gaming router on this list, and for good reason. This is a Wi-Fi 7 gaming router, which features quad band Wi-Fi 7 performance. This bad boy has a 10 gig WAN port and four 2.5 gig LAN ports. And it also includes a separate 10 gig LAN port for dedicated gaming. And it also includes 4G and 5G mobile tethering. And like all Asus routers, there is no subscription plan for additional services. When testing this router for speed and coverage area, it was pretty impressive. This router's coverage area is around 2,500 square feet with the router in the center of the house. And this router can easily handle a multi-gig broadband connection. However, to take advantage of the Wi-Fi 7 speeds, you will need Wi-Fi 7 devices. But if you have Wi-Fi 6E devices, this router will give you the speeds you need. And the BE98 Pro came in second only to the Netgear RS700. And we're talking a difference of less than 100 megabits per second. Wow. This router's wired and wireless performance will blow you away. If you're a hardcore gamer and you've got 800 bucks to spend, then get this router. No ifs, ands, or buts. The GT BE98 Pro is currently priced at $799, and the product link will be in the description below. Alrighty guys and gals, gaming router number five is the Netgear Nighthawk XR1000. This router uses Duma OS 3.0 to optimize lag-free server connections. And this router gives off a sci-fi Star Trek look with a black and red color scheme. It should look pretty impressive next to a gaming console or a PC. The back of the router contains four gigabit LAN ports, a one gigabit WAM port, and includes a USB 3.0 port. This router does lack a multi-gig WAN or LAN port, so there is no support for link aggregation. However, most homes do not have a multi-gig broadband connection, and you can fully manage this router from your phone or the web OS. The Netgear XR1000 uses NetDuma's Duma OS, a slick interactive operating system designed for gamers who want to optimize online gaming performance, control which game servers they connect to, and monitor hardware usage. The Netgear dashboard is very detailed with a plethora of information, from CPU usage to network overview. It also has great QoS settings, which allocates bandwidth to different applications and devices. The XR1000 had a very good throughput performance test. We tested the 5 gigahertz band, and at 20 feet, we achieved 810 megabits per second. And at 30 feet, we achieved 312 megabits per second. And at 50 feet, we achieved 85 megabits per second. The XR1000 achieved 122 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band at around 20 feet. And at 30 feet, we achieved 38 megabits per second. The XR1000 provides an excellent Wi-Fi coverage area, which means it's perfect for most homes. The Netgear Nighthawk XR1000 is currently priced at $179.99, making it the cheapest router on this list. So if you're a gamer on a budget, then this router is an easy pick. The XR1000's product link will be in the description below. All right, guys and gals, if you're in the market for a reliable network switch or a fantastic mesh router system or just a solid home wireless router, then check out these videos right here. And with that, guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, slap the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.